hi lovely welcome to my youtube channel my name is messi if you're coming across my channel for the very first time hi welcome to my youtube channel and if you've been on my channel before hi hi welcome back to the channel so today we are going to be making this gorgeous african print fabric it doesn't take time at all before we proceed i would like to say happy new year to you and thank you very much for everyone who did 2023 with me Thank you so much. Let's do it again this 2024. Keep supporting this channel. Keep liking my video. Keep sharing. Keep commenting. Okay? Thank you. Now, this earring is very easy to make. It doesn't require a whole lot of stuff. All right? Now, let's dive into the video. <music> I'm going to be working with this African print fabric. Feel free to make use of any one of your choice. So this cardboard, I got it from a box of cereal. And then I got my Mod Podge and brush. I've got my scissors, one for fabric, one for the paper. I've got my ring and hook. Okay. And I've got this pin. And then the UHU glue. I've got UHU glue. And of course, my pen for marking out pattern, my ruler. And let's begin. All right so on the cardboard paper this way you're going to mark make a straight line three inches so this is the dot i've made i've marked three inches now find out the midpoint of the three inches and make a dot all right so this is three inches now and then the midpoint so on that midpoint i'm going to mark two inches which is one inch on both sides okay so this is the one inch dot and then another one inch dot all right so this is one three inches this way and two inches that way now i'm going to grab my ruler and connect the dot that way all right so look at what i'm doing connect it that way and then connect the other side that way keep connecting the dots all right so this is a four sides a four-sided triangle after that this is what we have i'm going to grab my scissors now keep in mind there's a scissors for paper and one for fabric you don't want to make that mistake cut out that shape okay cut it out nicely just the way i'm doing because we don't want any excesses we already made our pattern so we're going to stick with that all right after i've trimmed this out this is what we have perfect shape all right now I'm going to grab the rest of the cardboard, place it this way because we need four pieces of this and then I'm going to mark out the remaining and cut it out. We need four pieces so I'm going to cut it out now. Alright, good, good, good. Done. This is what we have. We have four of this. Okay, so place it together. Make sure it matches. I'm going to label it A, A and B, B. Alright, that's the way we are going to join it. So moving on now, I'm going to grab this fabric, all right, lay it out that way. You don't need too much fabric to get this done. Lay it out that way. And then I'm going to grab my UHU glue, put a little bit on the back of this cardboard, place it on the fabric that way, all right, and I'm going to cut this out. Okay, set it aside for now. I'm going to... Do the same thing to the remaining three. I know you told your friend you're not okay. So after that, what we are going to do next is I'm going to cut out these SSCs, leaving about half an inch. Okay. Leave about half an inch. And then after that, I'm going to grab my scissors and make notches around that pattern we've made around the cardboard paper. Be careful so you don't cut out the cardboard. So just make notches on the fabric. This will enable us to fold it in when we are about to fold it in. Okay. Right. Grab my UHU glue now. I'm going to apply it on the excess fabric we left. So fold it in that way. You see the essence of the notches we made. So fold it in, fold it in. Continue doing that. You apply your UHU glue and you fold in. All right. Continue doing that. Fold that bait in. Make sure you lay it down nicely. Okay. Right. So this is it. This is sorted. This is what we have. All right. Very beautiful. Good. So now 
what we are going to do is we are going to repeat the same process with the remaining three I know you told your friend you're not okay and after that this is what we have okay I'm going to grab my Mod Podge now with my brush remember the way we numbered it A A and B B okay so A to A and B to B I'm going to grab this paper now right because the last time I worked with this Mod Podge it messed up the whole place so I'm going to grab this paper and lay it on top of this paper to prevent it from messing with my fabric all right that's the fabric on the on the background of where i'm working right i'm going to be generous with this glue apply it that way make sure it gets to all the edges so i apply it with my brush that way all right continue applying on the second one focusing on the edges all right because you want this to stick together and after doing that i'm going to grab it that way make sure you place it nicely following the way we numbered that the way we label them place it that way okay don't worry about the mud podge spreading all over the fabric because once it's, it dries it's going to leave it shiny so it's not going to be white once the mud podge dries okay so don't worry about those bits all right so leave that one and do it on this good 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 that's sorted now for both of them this is what we have absolutely brilliant i'm going to grab my hook and jump ring now so grab two of each two hooks and two jump rings what we're going to do next is with our pin don't forget our pin make a little hole at the top of it just as wide as the the jump ring okay you don't want it too open right so make that opening there and then insert the jump ring that way okay so that's it grab your jump ring insert it and then following it with the hook and clip it making sure that they overlap each other side by side this is what we have i'm not sure you can see it so that's done for that one don't worry about this mud podge all right when it dries you won't even see it right do the same thing to this other one i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, yeah, yeah. And once that is done, we are all sorted This is how beautiful this earring is looking Perfect. So don't worry about this glue thing or any excess from Mod Podge because when it dries off, you will just you won't see it. Okay, so don't worry about it. Don't stress yourself about it. All right. So what you're going to do is grab this earring, put it on the net, something that has a little tiny bit of weight to press it down overnight, and then in the morning you will see how beautiful it is. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please keep sharing, keep commenting, and keep liking my video. Will you make this earring for yourself? Please let me know. And let me know what video you would like to see on my channel. I will see you in my next video. Bye!